What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning into yet another video. So normally I start the videos off with um, by thanking you for of course watching this video and then watching the previous videos. I still want to do that but I have to actually apologize to you at the beginning of this video because today's video is about should you buy a food truck or a food trailer. I put up a video video number two before this about the things you need to think about when you're buying a food truck but this video should actually came before that video so you can decide do you want to go food truck or food trailer and then if you decide to go food truck then you can watch that video about what you need to look out for when buying a food truck so depending on when you became aware of this channel and what order you're watching these videos on it could be right on time or like I said, it could be out of order, but either way, I'm gonna get you the information that you need to know when you're deciding, should I go food truck or food trailer? So since there's a video that explains food trucks and what you need to be thinking about in detail, I'm gonna spend the majority of this video talking about trailers and the benefits, the pros and the cons of having a trailer. So a lot of people don't even really consider because when you're thinking about the buzzword is always food truck, food truck, food truck, but a lot of people really don't Think about the fact that you don't actually need a food truck. You can get something else that can still get the job done that you want to get done. Like for instance, having a food trailer instead of a food truck. There's food carts, there's stands, you know, there's there's a there's different variations depending on what you're doing for you to be able to get done what you need to get done on the service level. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to talk about uh, food trailers and the pros and cons. And like I said, if you want to get the breakdown on um, what to look for in a food truck, go back to video number two. It'll break down um, everything you should be looking for before you buy a food truck. So trailers, let's talk about trailers. The first thing and one of the biggest things is food trailers are cheaper to get than food trucks. Why? That's because they don't have the front end aspect that a truck will have with the engine, the transmission, the belts, the whistles, the steering wheel. They don't have that. So that's a huge chunk of the price when you buy a food trunk is the cabin side of it. And when I mean, when I say cheaper, I mean, literally it could be the difference between a 15 to $30,000 in savings because you got a trailer instead of a food truck. So now I'm sure a lot of you or some of you are thinking, well, if that's the case, I mean, this is a no brainer. You know, I'm, I'll go trailer instead of food truck. I'm, I want to, you know, of course, the goal is to save every dollar you possibly can so you can get going. But there's a catch to a food having a food trailer or just a trailer in general. You need something to pull it with. So if you're in the position where you may own a truck, like a, say a F-150 or a, a Chevy Silverado or something like that and you have the ability to pull the trailer, this is right up your alley right here because you already have the vehicle that's gonna get it where it needs to go. You just need to get the back end and get that put together. If you don't have some sort of truck to pull it, then you need to cost out the difference between buying the two vehicles, the, the, the truck that's gonna pull it, and then a the trailer versus just a food truck as a whole. You still may be able to save some money by getting a truck and a trailer versus just buying a, a whole food truck. It just depends on the age, the wear and tear, and all that stuff of what the vehicles you're buying is, but you still, even buying the two, may be able to save money versus buying the one, or you may not. Like I said, it just depends on the condition of those two vehicles versus the one and vice versa. Now, um, here's one of the pros to having a trailer. Well, we all know things break down, right? And food trucks are no different. When you have a food trailer and a truck pulling the food trailer, if that truck has an issue, you can still operate, you can still get the job done if you have access to another vehicle to pull your trailer. If your food truck breaks down, there's really no, unless you can get it to a shop, unless you're a mechanic or you can get it to a mechanic and you can get it fixed and back up and running in enough time to get to whatever your venue is. If you can't do that, you're done for the day. And there's no money to be made because you can't get to where you, I mean, I've, I've heard of some people even towing their food truck to the location so they can work. Like, you know, the food truck doesn't have to run for you to operate. You, it just has to run for you to get there. But like I said, I've even heard of uh, people towing trucks to locations just so they can get the job done. And if that's possible, I would advise you to do it because one thing you don't want to do is upset your, the people bringing you out. You want to, you want to keep them happy so they can continue to keep them happy. But that's a that doesn't happen all the time. And if that truck breaks down, the overwhelming majority of the time, you're done for the day. 
where, like I said, if you have a trailer, you might be able to swap out. You might be able to go rent another truck. You might have a, you know, know somebody who has another truck that you could pull it with. There's options there. One thing that you also have to keep in mind when you're getting a truck to pull your trailer is you have to keep in mind the weight of the trailer. Not all trucks are built the same. Not all trucks do the same thing. And that's why you see different levels to some of the trucks. Like you might have a Ford F-150, an F-250, and F-350. Well, that F-350 can do a lot more as far as muscle than the F-150 can. And if your trailer is too heavy for the vehicle that you have, what it does is it can kill your transmission. On the incline, if you're going straight away, you're fine. But on the incline, the, the, the pull on your transmission can blow that thing up and your truck is done. So you need to, if you don't know how weight works on trailers and what type of trucks need to pull certain weight, you need to consult with somebody to see what kind of truck do I need for the weight of the trailer that I have. One thing that's a benefit to having a trailer is you can get a trailer that's just as big as a food truck or even bigger. You know, um, in previous videos, I talked about your floor plan and your operation. So you can look at your operation and see or measure out how big do I need my truck or my trailer and, and everything like that. But don't think that because I'm getting a trailer that I'm getting something smaller than I could have gotten with a truck because the trailers can be just as big. Actually, I actually had a trailer myself and my trailer was wider. It was just as long as a food truck, but it was actually wider than any food truck that I've ever seen. So when people who have food trucks got on my trailer, they always commented on how much space is in my trailer because of the width of it. So, you know, don't think that if you get a trailer, you're taking less than or you don't have as much as you would have with the truck because that's not the case. Another thing to consider when you go trailer versus truck is at the actual driving of both of the machines, if you will. I personally, my personal story, I had a trailer, like I said, and I was one of the people who had never driven anything hooked up to anything I was driving. So I was brand new to trailers when I actually got my trailer and I had to figure it out. So I go from, you know, just four wheels to now I have uh, what had two wheels on it. Now I'm now in the six, but it's 10,000 pounds on top of the other truck. I had a box truck that I bought from U-Haul. So I'm driving the box truck and then I got a 10,000 pound trailer behind me that I've never, you know, I've never experienced that before. So I had to learn how to do that pretty fast and it takes a little bit of time. So if it's possible, if you're somebody who has experience driving um, two vehicles like that, then you're cool. If you don't, you're going to need to go and maybe in a parking lot somewhere and understand what it's like to reverse, to drive in reverse when you got something hitched to the back of you like that, because it's the opposite of what you're used to. You're gonna, you, you know, you might want to go and feel what it's like to make those right turns and those left turns with something behind you because there's an adjustment period that happens there. So um, that's something to be cognizant of if you want to go that route. And lastly, um, the last thing that I would advise you on when you're trying to decide between truck and trailer is your insurance costs. So because you have a vehicle pulling the trailer and then the actual trailer, you got two vehicles there and they're both going to have to be insured where on a food truck, you only have to insure the one vehicle. And I know this video is probably leaning more towards don't go trailer, go truck. But like I said, price all this stuff out, research all this stuff, even with the things that you got on your con list, you know, they may outweigh your pro list or vice versa. You know, I don't know what your list is, but just go research it, man. You know, you can, you might still be able to come out cheaper um, going a trailer route than you are the truck. I'm not swaying you or trying to sway you one way versus the other, but um, because I've, you know, experienced both of them. But I'm just saying, just go research it. Do the due diligence of finding out this cause versus the other cause because my goal is to keep you as efficient as possible and to save you as much money as possible so that you can get to the finish line and get to your launch day. So, um, but at the same time, I still want to get you the information that will help you make the wise and the right decision for you because not these aren't universal decisions for everybody. Each individual situation is unique and they need to be treated as such. So hopefully this uh, digs a little deeper into the food truck versus food trailer, something you may or may not have um, thought about before or even knew was possible. Please do me a favor, um, share this video with someone who you think it may help or if it helps you and you're not subscribed, subscribe and turn the notifications on because I'm trying to pump out at least two videos a week and there's a lot to cover. I've already put up 
handful of videos so far but I got a lot more coming and I want you to get this information as soon as it becomes available because one thing I think that's super important with getting your getting to your food truck dream is building the right momentum if you start knocking down the dominoes correctly without having to backtrack and fix you know it, it really helps you out a lot because your momentum stays positive your progression stays in the right direction and you get to the finish line and you're successful because of it so share subscribe like turn on notifications all that stuff and there will be another video coming soon so i will see you on the next one